just got out of the visit, um, which was, honestly, I only saw, like, maybe one or two commercials for this, and I wasn't really planning on going to see it. I will say the commercials looked hilarious, uh, but I wasn't really planning on going to see this. Then I saw who's writing and directing this, M. Night Shyamalan, and I was like, oh, my God, we have to go see this. We don't really have a whole lot of money, but we got to go see this one. Um... I have started really enjoying his movies recently, but not in a good way. Uh, the Happening is hilarious, by the way. The Happening is probably my favorite one um, from the, the so bad it's good category. Um, I really love uh, Sixth Sense and Unbreakable, genuinely. I really love those movies. Signs, I thought was well done and falls apart the second you start thinking about it. And then after that, I felt like it was all crap. And so I'm, I'm ready to go into this movie just to have fun. Just, to, you know, so bad it's good. This movie was genuinely okay. Um, it's so weird. Um, I, I genuinely enjoyed this one. Um, there are lots of funny moments, but I feel like those are intentional. Uh, you want to jump in, honey? You haven't said anything yet. Yes. And no spoilers. The only thing I have, I have to say was in spoilers. Oh, don't say any spoilers. Well, what do you think? Did you enjoy the movie? Yes. Yeah, there's a big... It's a Shyamalan movie. You know there's a twist ending, and there's totally a spoiler that she could give away. That's pretty big. Um. Um. Did you think it was scary? Yes. Did you think it had hey, funny moments? I was yeah, because that boy kept on singing in the documentary. Yeah, yeah, serious documentary for rapper. Um, yeah, it, it had moments that were kind of like that, and I think it was going for that. Lots of the scary stuff had almost kind of a humorous edge to it, but it was also very serious because a lot of the scary stuff through most of the movie is real issues. Um, they're going to visit their grandparents for a week. And the mom hasn't seen the grandparents for like 20 years. And, but the grandparents contacted her and were like, hey, we want to uh, see our grandchildren. Can we see our grandchildren? I guess the granddaughter really wanted to go to give her, just give her mother some time off from them, you know, and just hang out and have fun. That's the, the premise for the whole movie right there. And uh, it's done. It's... Uh, well, I want to say found footage. Uh, technically, it would be found footage, even though technically it's not found footage because uh, found footage implies everybody's dead. I guess that's kind of spoilerish, but no. Not really found footage. She's putting together a documentary, though, so found footage style, let's say that. But she's putting together a documentary about going to see her grandparents, um, which doesn't sound all that fascinating, but okay. Um I'm trying to think. Um, I thought it was interesting because lots of people have criticized Shyamalan for his uh, his style. He overstylizes so much. Um, and what I liked about this movie is that kind of disguised that because you have these kids who are trying to make this movie and they're stylizing it, you know, and they're doing their weird quirky camera angles and stuff like that. And it's like he's able to hide behind this. It's actually a really good format for him. Um, honestly, it's kind of impressive I like this, because found footage style, I usually despise found footage. It is so distracting for me to watch. Um, but yeah, I kind of enjoyed this. This is not this is not Unbreakable Sixth Sense good. This is... I probably like this slightly more than Signs, because I don't see this one falling apart immediately. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of liked this one. I wasn't, I was expecting to laugh my ass off and there was funny stuff, but I enjoyed it. My daughter's getting antsy. She's like, I can tell she's like, get the spoilers. We need to get the spoilers. So we will get the spoilers. Spoilers. Do you want to go over into the spoiler? Yeah, I'm going to dive into it. Okay. I'll let her dive into the spoiler because that's what she loves. <laughs> Yeah, I love to say stuff about spoilers. <laughs> All right. Always, I want to tell about some parts that I wanted that I 
that I think is weird or that I like. <laughs> As she takes a deep breath. Okay, go ahead. Go into spoilers, honey. What do you want to talk about? They're not really their her grandparents. Yeah, it that that's the big twist. Um, that was like one of the big things I thought of watching this. It's like, so they're just meeting them and they haven't seen her for twenty years, and you know, just gonna yeah. It's actually one of the things I thought of, and that ended up being the big twist. Did you see that coming though? Mm, not until. Not until they started acting really mean. Mm -hmm. Now, the twist in Sixth Sense and Unbreakable, I like those because I didn't see those coming. Difference is, I don't know if this just isn't as good a twist, or if I've just been watching movies like this throwing twists at me for so long that I've almost come to like look out for it, and when it happens, it's like, ah, there it is. So I don't know which it is. I don't know if this just isn't as good of a twist, or if it just I wasn't didn't see it coming. You Did you think it was a good twist, though? Yes. Yeah, she thought it was good, though. Um, Dad. Yeah, they're escape mental patients. Dad. What? I, I still have two. I think I have one more spoiler. Oh, she has more spoilers. Okay, go into it. She has to take the, a deep breath before she does first, it. The person that they called Nancy, which is not really their Nancy, but... We don't get to meet the real grandparents. So, anyway, what I was going to say, she has sundown, and it is really strange. Sundown in a form of dementia. I can hardly believe that she, that those are real stuff. Yeah, yeah. I would think it's made up. This does, this does deal with stuff that so these, bad. these are elderly people, and they have like the worst symptoms of elderly people. Um. <laughs> Outside of the dementia and the sundowning and the incontinence, yes, they deal with incontinence in this movie. <laughs> there is more poop in this movie than I would care to talk about. More um, poop. but uh, oh, it deals with real stuff, and it's actually kind of a strange horror movie through a nice chunk of it because I'm thinking this is almost turning this real stuff that real people have to deal with it, it's turning it into a horror movie and sometimes a funny thing. And I'm not, I'm enjoying it, but I'm not completely sure it's appropriate. Of course, it turns out they're also completely crazy. It's more than just, you know, dementia. They're just completely gone. Um, so I guess it's kind of okay. Um, yeah, any other thoughts? No. No? Okay. Yeah, um, I don't love this movie. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than Man From U.N.C.L.E., I guess. Um, which still, I didn't hate Man From U.N.C.L.E., I just wasn't thrilled by it. And this, I guess this one more surprised me than anything. I was expecting to just go into the theater and be like, oh my god, this is so hilariously bad. Especially after the commercials for it. Commercials. I saw commercials for this and I'm like, oh my god, this looks hilarious. Um... And yeah, it wasn't quite that way. Like I said, it had funny parts. Um, I didn't find it particularly scary, but it had scary-ish moments. Did you find it scary? Yes, I hardly even want to look at Nancy after that time. Nancy? You mean, uh... Non-Nancy? Yeah, it was like Nanny or something. Well, oh, I don't remember yeah. what they're calling her. Yeah, which is not really their Nanny. Mm -hmm. We already know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, of course it's not his name. It's nickname. Pop Pop is not his real name. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No. So, so this this is not bad. I mean, there's not a whole lot out right now. That's why we haven't been doing these. We don't these. know who, who. Sorry. Just we don't know who they are really. <laughs> but uh, let's call them the nobody person. <laughs> okay, the nobody people. Yeah. Um, there's not a whole lot out right now. So if you really want to go see a movie, um. This is alright. Not bad. Shyamalan's best since Signs. Easily. Any final <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> okay. That's it for now. I don't know when this will get posted on YouTube, but hopefully soon. <gasps>
if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 